Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to be building a function to see if a year is a leap year. So, alright, so everybody thinks that they know what the definition of a leap year is, but I'm actually uh, going to be interested to see if you really know the rules for leap year because I think I learned last year that it isn't just every four years because that doesn't balance it out. It's actually there is a really crazy rule that every hundred years it skips a leap year except if it is a year that is also then divisible by 400. So in 2000 that was the first leap year, leap century that happened in 400 years. So we have to devise, devise a functionality to test this. So how about we start small with if it's divisible by four and then we'll go from there. So how do we define our function? We use our keyword def. We'll just keep this simple. Leap here. We'll just take one variable, x. So how do we find out if something is a divisor? Do you remember? We need to use our modulo. And if it's divisible by four, and then if, if it's a divisor, it has no remainder, correct? So then print yes. kinds of stuff. There we go. Else print no. So Now we are going to test our function. This is called calling the function. We're going to put in, we knew, we know 2000 was one, right? So we run this. Yes. So now actually, how about we change this up just a little bit. Yes, X. Now, how would we do this? When, what are we doing right here? What I'm doing is I'm changing the input, the integer is a leap here. Okay. Let's see if I did this right. Okay. Yes, 2000 is a leap year. So, okay. Before we get too off into the weeds, add and all kinds of stuff cuz I was doing that for um so we just so we remember what in the world our answer is because what happens if we took in a list of information and we just had a bunch of yeses and nos and things like that so all right okay let's uh let's leave that and we can we can fix that later or get more fancy later but like i said this isn't this isn't accurate because like i said uh night like the next uh century uh 2100 that will not be a leap year. So if it's divisible by 100, it is not a leap year. But then if it's divisible by 100 and then divisible by 400, then it is a leap year. So we have to think, we have to think through this. So, all right. So if we have to, we have to walk our way through some conditions and then have to have the test if it is not. So we're going to have a little three-step process. So x 
divisible by 100. Then, and we're gonna we're gonna work our way through. So then, if x is divisible by 400. So all right, let's let's think about this. Let's bring this back up here. So, and to remind you, the, these will only happen if they're true. So if it, if it falls under this, it's true. This is how Python does things. If true, if true, come inside this indention. If true, come inside this indention. If true, come inside this indention. So let's think about this. So if this is true, it's a leap year. If this is true, it's not a leap year. But then if it falls under here, it is. So we're good with our yes here. So then our else would be print no. And then let's come out of here, our next one. So if true is a leap year, if true is not a leap year. So this one right here on this indention and you can check right here so this is on eight so this else this else would be yes so let's check and make sure and we'll run a little test on it and then we can get a little fancy here in a minute and then this else right here this would be no so all right now what we're going to do is let's do if this is for for a well, we can just go through here and add them right here up here let's just add a bunch of years copy paste 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 let's leave it so we can see it paste all right so we did 2000 let's do 21 because that should not be 1996, should have been 2010, should not have been um, 1900, and then, what, 97. Okay, you ready to run these? Let's go. All right, let's see what happens. So, actually, let's add Let's just add x so we don't have to worry about this and we can just check and if you want to add something else you already know how to do it you have the primer right there so all right let's check these okay 2100 no to that 1996 yes 2010 no 1900 no and 1997 no so this is this is the way you want to do this. And you could compress this a little bit a little bit and get this a little bit more more fancy, but what I like is just that it's clean. One, two, three, and then on the way out, one, two, three, and you don't have to get it in you don't have to get confused. So you can walk this through. So if this is true, it's gonna again indent. If this is true, it's going to then come down here. And then if this is tested not, it stays on the outside. So, all right, there we go. Uh, and just to let, just for informative reasons, there is more, more definition to a leap year. It's just now divisible by four. There is one extra criteria. And I didn't learn that, 40 years old, didn't learn that till last year, so. Thanks for watching. Hope you're getting something out of this. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Thanks.